Good morning. Guess what today is? First fish in the new boat, hopefully. Hopefully tag out. We're allowed 30 crappie a person. So hopefully we tag out. But anyway, a lot of my video equipment didn't come in today, so maybe a iffy kind of video, but we hope you'll enjoy it. Uh, of course, I won't put it out unless it turns out decent anyway. So, but anyway, I'm going to go in, get my coffee, and finish getting ready and find my bogging. It's about 35 degrees here in North Alabama this Saturday morning. So, anyway, I'll catch you guys later. Say hi, Keith. Morning. So we are trucking it across the Cab Lake. If you're from this area, probably better known as Savannah Lake, up in North Alabama and uh, Northeast Alabama. So a lot of crappie been caught out of here, and we just talked to a guy, caught a bunch of bass out of here, and so we're just trolling right now up in here for Keith got a little honey hole we're gonna try out and see if we can't load this boat up with crappie well first fish of the day not even what we're hunting but i it's a fish that's actually the second fish of the day keith hooked one a while ago and uh we didn't get it on video because we didn't realize till he got nerdy to the boat that he had one so yeah. we're just now getting into the fish we're hunting crappie but to bring something live aboard the boat besides the two sticks we brought in earlier uh pretty good so we shall return all right i think old keepers hooked him one don't know what yet but i got my line out oh look there baby that's what we're looking for oh yeah i mean that's a nice one right there we've been fishing this spot an hour and fish finder showing fish left and right and we haven't been able to get one yet and we've been getting bumps and bumps and bumps and old keith hooked this and this is the first one we've caught that uh we've been able to uh video because the two little ones he caught he hooked them before uh Right there at the boat, so we didn't even get to. Yeah, I didn't even get a chance to. What'd you catch that on, Keith? Uh, I caught that one on a. It's called a Charlie Brewer. It's actually a Mustang. It's a. I see it. Uh, it's a black with gold glitter and a chartreuse tail. And a 16th lead head. Yep, 16th lead head. With a number four hook. Just a little bitty rig. Yeah. So what, how long do you think that is, Keith? I'm going to say maybe 11. Yep. So Have we got our little yep. checker? We're going to, yeah, it's right It's right under you. We're going to see if we can uh, measure this bad boy. All right, boys. This is pretty nice little old crappie. What are we saying there? Uh, it's about a pound. It's about a pound, but it's a... Uh, like 12 inches what it measured. So pretty nice little old fish. Not too bad. What is this you call a grip and check? Yep. And pretty handy little gizmo. Look at there. What's that, about 12 inches? Yeah, it's 12. Not a bad, not a bad for the first crappie of the day. All right, see you a little bit later, guys. All right, guys, so. Right after that last little video clip that y'all seen of us on the lake, it started raining. And they weren't giving us to get but like sprinkles uh, that day. And you never know, especially when you're fishing, it can go south quick. But anyway, we pulled up the radar and it looked like it was going to get bad pretty quick. So we had to call it a day. Um, I apologize that I'm not on any of the videos. Y'all probably rather see somebody else anyway but uh all everything that i had ordered to video on the boat 
to you the equipment wise none of it come in uh well one piece came in and i've yet to find me a pole mount for the boat that uh, i can rig up an iphone stand for so we had a tripod we was going to rig up but it just took up way too much room and it was just going to be uh, just a big old mess so we didn't do that so uh started not to put a video out on this trip but i've been promising you guys one and we had a blast uh, and i got to thinking that this was a great video to put out about when you go fishing or when you get outdoors just have fun filling the live wells full of fish is great and all but me and keith was out there for a few hours and we had a blast yeah it rained it cut our day short we had big plans we were just getting in to a pretty good groove and we could have possibly tagged out on our crappie but you know that's how it goes that's a story to tell and we had fun reminiscing we had fun trying out my boat by the way that 65 pound you can't see it because i got her covered up that 65 pound thrust trailer motor on the front of this 14 foot boat was getting it we were running against the wind at about three and a half mile per hour y'all could see when we headed out i think he he didn't even have it wide open we had just headed out when you see us taking off uh there at the lake but uh had a good time uh Trolling motor done great. The boat done good. No leaks, no nothing, which we done knew it didn't leak. We had done been in it, trying it out. Uh, I realized, and I made a post about this, I think, on Facebook, if you guys follow my personal page. Uh, I was going to do some stuff to this boat in the back. I was going to put a live well in and some different things. I have done canned those ideas. I let Keith fish up front and he ran the trolling motor and all it was a trolling motor motor only lake but i let him fish up front i wanted to fish in the back for two reasons one i wanted to fish in back and see how much room a person would have if i added the live well and stuff and i realized that i don't want to go that route i i want to leave that space as open as possible another reason i let keith fish up front is he was teaching me a lot about the helix seven fish finders and teach me a lot about that trolling motor we didn't have all this technology when i fished you know back in the days when i was younger uh but anyway so probably not the last time me and keith fished together but the time before which has been probably 20 years 25 years ago uh that we fished on the lake in a boat i had a bass tracker and some of you fishermen know what that is but anyway we're not i'm not good at bass fishing keith is probably a lot better than i am but i'm pretty lucky when it comes to bass fishing and we fished a tournament for charity a big company here well actually the company that i haul for now they had a fish uh a bass club in their company and they put on a bass tournament um at the tennessee river some of you guys that have visited uh, me and Tammy here in North Alabama crossed the BB Comer Bridge. Well, we put in at that bridge, like going to Scottsboro at the foot of the mountain. You guys, some of you guys have been across it. But anyway, we put in there, and that day we won the tournament. Uh, when we came in to weigh in, they said, Do you have fish? And we're like, Yeah. They said, You won. Didn't even have to weigh them. We held up our fish. We were the only ones that caught fish that day we were the only boat that caught fish that day and so we got a lot of stories to tell and a lot of memories and yes uh saturday will be uh, some of those memories so just wanted to give y'all a little highlight of our day and like i said we had a blast and that's what fishing and being outdoors is all about so hope you enjoyed the little short video and hopefully maybe we're gonna be in 70 degree weather uh this weekend so maybe i'll get a chance to get out i don't know if tammy will go with me but maybe i'll get a chance to get out and get some better videos if you guys have any ideas 
about what kind of pole mount I can get to mount my iPhone on. I'd like to be able to twist it forward and backwards so I can film on both ends of the boat. Or at least mount, have a mount for two. I'd rather twist it because I'd rather just use one phone. So, But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Be safe out there. Carry your life jackets. Inspect your boat like we do with our hot shots. Inspect them before you go. Make sure everything's good. So, love you guys. Be careful.